And here we have the title screen for her rise easy easy deezy. Now including the frozen wilds. As you can tell from the from the corner there. Alright. Before we get too deep into this, I'm gonna do a sound test. Just gonna start by making sure I can hear me. <laughs> and since I can hear me, that means you can hear me. Might need to turn it up a little though. That's okay. Alright, I think this is good. Let's grab that link. Post it everywhere. I don't think I'm gonna start yet. It's a little it's a little before nine. I feel like there's still some time to sit here, enjoy this uh, beautiful music that I've actually never heard because I don't usually stay on the menu this long. And uh, for anyone who's curious, uh, I did make a lot of progress in the Frozen Wilds. So we're going to try to finish it up tonight, if possible. I think I'm near the end. Uh, I'm not going to do any achievement hunting, because uh, I don't feel like looking up what they are. I'll probably end up grabbing the rest of the trophies for the, the Frozen Wilds at some point. Uh, there's no pressing need for it, because, um, the, uh, once you have the Platinum, and I think this is true for every game, but, uh, you can get the Platinum from just doing the base game stuff, and I don't think there's a game where you need to do the DLC, or there, there are no Platinum trophies associated with any, uh, DLC stuff, uh, for any game. Wrong. I don't own every game. But of the ones that I do have that I got DLC for, uh, there are no additional platinum trophies. So for those who like to chase the platinums, that's all you need. You just need the base game. I actually don't have platinum trophies for a lot of the games that I that I uh, that I own. Uh, some of them are just ridiculous. Like, uh, I think The Witcher 3, that's one of the ones I don't have the Platinum Trophy on because it involves using the crossbow. And the crossbow is, like, one of the worst weapons in that game. <laughs> it's the only thing that... It's the only weapon you can use under underwater, from what I remember. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's not a very good weapon. Anywho, I should, uh post something on my Twitter, I should tweet this. What do I want to say? Alright. Uh... There we go. That's a, that's a sweet tweet. Nice and, uh, nice and straightforward. No snark. It's past 9 o'clock, isn't it? Alright, well then, I guess that means it's time to begin. Time to continue. Oh, I should have continued while I was typing, because it takes a while to load.
Um, I think I'm in the final area. I don't know. I don't know anything. These are these are blind runs for a reason. Uh, but uh, there was this area that I couldn't get into. It's a big, big frozen wall thing, and now it looks like I can. So since I was gated earlier, it can only mean the game is letting me finish this this section. And uh, yeah, for an open world game, uh, I noticed this with uh with um. I actually think Witcher 3 handled this a little better. Uh, in Witcher 3, you could go to the area that's at the very end of the game, and they're actually like you can walk around it and stuff. Uh, anytime that you anytime that you want, like just hop on a boat, go to the island, and you will be in the final area of the game. And there's nothing there, um, or at least nothing um, nothing uh, tied to the plot. Or like not no events happen there. No no cutscenes happen when the game isn't ready. Um, but I've noticed in Horizon, it will actually cut you off of areas to make sure that you don't go in when the time is not appropriate. Like there will be a ladder that won't be there until a certain you you advance the plot to a certain point. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I just noticed that that is. That is a thing in this game. Uh, and actually, before I go through go through the dealy, uh, I'm actually gonna go and uh, complete one of these other side quests. Find the claws beneath, uh, just because I can, and so I don't forget. And I'm also curious what it is. Uh, for what it's worth, this is locked in on ultra hard. Because I was too lazy to start a new a new file of uh, New Game Plus, so I'm locked in. Because when you pick anything in New Game Plus, if you start a New Game Plus, you your difficulty is locked in. Not the case on a New Game file. Uh, you can you're free to switch your difficulty at any point. But yeah, this this game has this DLC has been a lot more challenging than I think it was ever meant to be. Um, still a lot of places where you can just kind of snipe or take advantage of enemies' uh, bounding boxes and, you know, cheese them that way. But I initially had a, uh, a plan of not really stealthing and just running in and uh, throwing bombs at things. Can't really do that in this mode. Anyway, I've actually been over here before. Before uh, before accepting this quest, and there was a control tower here, and uh, I done blew it up, which is great. Um, but now I actually have a reason to be here, so we're gonna find out what it is. I've got my stealth suit on, with a uh, 75 stat on stealth, so I'm supposed to be very hard to detect. All right. The claws beneath sounds like a rock breaker. Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, how did I fight? How did I fight rock breakers? <laughs> I think this one might be demonic too. Right, I'm gonna see if I can like get some distance and actually become. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, that one's definitely demonic. Uh, Alright, we're gonna do Tear Blast, I guess? I think that was how I fought him before. Here. Yeah, that, that did a whole lot of nothing. I'm gonna use this rock. Can't hit me around this rock. Alright, uh, we gotta, we gotta think of a plan here. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, he's under. See, I thought he wasn't gonna go under while I was going around that rock, but... Yeah. Proves me wrong. Alright, where the fuck is he? At least he can't destroy that rock. 
Alright, the, the stealth suit is doing nothing. He can see me no matter what. Uh, so I picked up this suit and I put a bunch of modifications on it. It does a uh, passive healing, so maybe, maybe it'll be good. Uh, I'm liking it more than the shield weaver because the shield weaver, um, does mod slaps. Alright, we're gonna try to, well, I don't know, have a good angle on the claws. So I'm trying to break his claws so he can't go underground. And in order to do that, I'm gonna try to hit him with tear blast arrows. Gonna... Oh. Hitting the back is gonna be a little challenging, but it wouldn't be ultra hard if it wasn't ridiculously hard. I feel like I'm really abusing this uh, this rock though. It's good. Gotta learn to cheese. That's how I beat Bloodborne. It's a secret. Alright, where'd you go? Woo! I think if as long as he has one claw that's still attached, he can go underground, which is really annoying. I kinda feel like, you know, if you're missing three of your four limbs. That should kind of, you know, put a real damper on your, on your plan. Oh god. Uh, but I can't hit the one on his right, or his left, my right. Next time he goes underground, I'm gonna circle, yeah, I'm gonna circle this way now. Maybe that'll, uh, expose his, uh, his other, other claw. I mean, for what it's worth, he hasn't hit me except right in the beginning. And I'm actually surprised that didn't one-shot me. Ugh, come on. I'm glad I'm wearing headphones. It is actually giving me some clue as to what direction he's gonna come come from. Real helpful. Oh shit! <laughs> Alright, so I still get one shotted. Oh, can't be lucky forever, I guess. Um alright. I I need a plan. <laughs> shit. I feel like those stupid lunge attacks, cutting off the stupid lunge attacks is probably a good start. But it's really hard to do that without... Oh, maybe I should use the shield weaver. Maybe that will stop me from getting one-shotted. Maybe? It's like having an extra layer of HP, but I don't know how, how that factors in on, uh, on New Game Plus on Ultra Hard. Anyway... Um... Yeah, Tear Blast might not do it. I could try just bombing him a bunch. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just bomb him a bunch. Alright, gotta get to that rock. Ah, spitting up all those rocks. Yeah, yeah. Take some, take some damage. All right, that that did something. I feel like I'm making more progress than I did than I was. Uh, ooh, that was what killed me. I think I missed on that last one there. That's okay. I think that spot on his back is a weak spot. Oh, 
Oh, I actually broke something. Nice. No! Ah! Alright, so Shield Weaver seems to be the way to go. Since uh, I didn't die from that. Well, I guess there's no telling that. Uh, okay, yeah, that probably would have killed me if I wasn't wearing the Shield Weaver. This would be so much easier if you couldn't go underground. Fuck it, we're just gonna do this all day. Yep, we got. If I can get a good hit on the uh, on that little thing under him, Ooh, now we can switch to stickies. Switch the stickies on him, do some more damage. Uh, doesn't look like that works. Cause like once he's underground, I think he's uh, I think the stickies fail to explode. Those. I wasted all my sticky. Yeah, this is why I really hate the, the going underground thing. It's just like completely immune. It like shrugs off all of the uh, all the work I did. Wow, I'm really surprised I didn't get hit there, but whatever. I'll take it. Ugh. Bombed you so hard. Dead. Oh shit, I'm almost out of blaze. Well, that sucks. If I run out of blaze and can't make any more bombs, I don't really know how I'm supposed to fight this thing. Oh, he's dead. Well, that's that. Umnak wasn't lying when he said you were tough. All right, what do I what do I get for that? Some tear, some some other things. Hey, some plays. Good. I'm like running out of that. Well, that was exciting. Uh, apparently, arrows arrows are shit. Just just bomb everything. That's the secret to playing this game. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done here. Let's go back to uh, let's go back to the guy and tell him how I wasted all my bombs killing that thing. <laughs> uh. All right, so what if what did we learn from that? <laughs> Just keep strafing around the uh, keep strafing around the rock and uh, and lob bombs. There's no finesse, just just throw bombs. Yeah, you've got a good point. I don't know, this game gives you like three or four different bows to use with uh and each of them has like three different arrows you can use. And you're meant to to switch between them depend depending on the situation and really really strategize and uh, it, it just looks like that's just bullshit just just use bombs which reminds me now I need to buy more bombs because I'm out of uh, I'm really low on the material to make more bombs and I haven't actually checked 
but I think in ultra hard the um, the uh, prices for things are actually higher. Uh, I don't really have a way to confirm this easily other than like loading a different save, which I'm too lazy to do, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, but yeah, I think I think stuff is actually more expensive. Alright, I killed that thing. It wasn't easy, but that rock breaker will the claws beneath brought low by an hour. Blah 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 blah. So that kind of looks like Morgan it. Freeman. I found people rarely live up to their songs. But it doesn't sound like him. You're an exception, though. If it doesn't sound like him, then and you've why bother? Kindness. My foe is buried now, like so many of the hunters it killed. My thanks, friend. Thanks, Morgan Freeman. My chieftain. Take this in thanks. I believe uh, you know it's money. It. Blue Gleam! That's, uh, that's like an extra currency in the Frozen Wilds. You need it for certain things. Uh, anywho... Oh, there's no regular merchant here, so I can't buy... Well, actually, maybe he does have Blaze. Alright, he has Blaze. Uh, shit. 60 shards is actually kind of expensive. Oh, I guess I could just buy the ammo outright. Yep, blast bombs. So this would be, what, like three-ish? Oh, but then I can't store extras. Okay, that's the cutoff. Oh, that's that's lame. All right, I guess I'll just buy a bunch of blaze. Uh, I'm going to go broke blazing up like this. Maybe there's some stuff I can sell to help offset these costs. Nope. I need all this. I'm hoarding all this stuff, but I need it. Alright, we're gonna try to run into this with not a lot of blaze, and I've also run out of wood. Or I'm, re I'm really low on wood, which is, you know, kind of useful for making arrows. Uh, I guess I should talk to this guy. Our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spear. Should we not return? Defending the cut falls to you. Yeah. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come I'm to that. Wearing the, I'm wearing a ninja the mask. The command is no small burden. I can see that. All right. Tell me what happened. Get more first context. Expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a. Oh, great there's a cauldron door. here. Some kind of cauldron. How do they know what a cauldron metal. is? We tried to Does everyone through, here know what a cauldron is? But it was unflinching. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. I had hoped to never subject a ray to that. What do you think is beyond that door? A cauldron. Do God damn. Don't you know? That expanse of metal, that dead hum, machines and death. That's what the mountain hold. And if we do, then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. I Take it, you have... Why should I? This is what she wanted. To return to Thunder's Drum. The Thunder Dare. So I sh After the Karja took my sister. Meh? What happened to Araya? It was a shaman. She's a... The Karja used her to capture them for the Sun Ring. They made her part of their blood sport. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of this. Well, all for right. For what it's worth... I'm glad someone else. We promised the car to just Well that was completely optional and pointless. Oh man, the the snow in this game is so impressive. It's like if I had to run through snow, I'd probably be doing this too. Although I probably wouldn't be wearing short sleeves. Alright, so here's the door that I couldn't get through. The thing that is so obviously a door. Hey, who's this guy? I wish you luck on the mountain. Man, look at that snow. Look at it! Oh, I'm just rolling around in it. That that was rock. Uh oh look at that snow. That's good snow. That's some good snow right there. Alright. Oh. 
Hey, it's my arrow. Stuck in the snow. I don't know why I can't Eli, retrieve it. This game's not... This is it. It's breaking my immersion. My chance to reunite with the spirit. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. No, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Blah, 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 blah. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. Oh, that was fun, though. That was one you of the side quests. to let him come. He's earned the right. Stubborn as stone, but... And so have I. Huh. So the fact that I'm giving an option to, uh, to come back to this is kind of interesting. So it does kind of imply that if I lock this in... I don't get to leave until the quest is over. Alright, let's find out more about Silence. He actually hasn't come up that now much that in this DLC, Chieftain which is kind of surprising because it's, it it kind of led off that way. Order you to tell me about Silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with si Silence, came to Ban Ur from the distant north, the young shaman of the Owl's Watch. Okay, so he is a, remote a Banuk. Rarely comes south to parlay. Silence was a shaman. It was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave. What about you? No. But he impressed me. He cared. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting uh -huh, place, the frozen uh -huh. caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as his custom at high winter, but when we next returned, the caves had been looted. All right, so he's relics kind of, of the a old douche. world stolen, holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him, and when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him, some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. And probably the villain in the next game. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, anyone else I would warn off. But you may be able to treat with him safely. Yeah, I'll yeah, keep yeah. that in mind, Horea. Thanks. He's a, he's a bad man, we get it. Alright, uh... Well, enough it of that. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are everyone, you ready, then? Uh, everyone in this Once world seems to think AIs are like gods. Back. I guess that's what would... Oh, yeah. Once again, I'm giving the choice of... Uh, am I sure I want to start this mission? Alright, let's do it. So... She's literally melting the door. Like, I couldn't do this. Like, the reason why the game would not let me proceed beyond this point without getting the story up to this point is because I didn't have anything hot enough to melt the ice. We ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. No, brother! Yeah, I couldn't do that for some reason. doesn't make uh, ice doesn't make things brittle oh that's funny <laughs> so, so they're setting off the uh, the smoke alarm and that's what's so causing see. it to open I too can call upon the power of the old ones you tripped a freaking 
<laughs> you tripped a freaking safety system. <laughs> Whatevs. What is this place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. Reach the cauldron the door. From danger. All right. Well, we're in the facility. Battery facility. Okay, that's interesting. So, so far from what I've gathered from the lore that I've picked up in the DLC, you're in Yellowstone, and at some point uh, before uh, before the world ended, uh, Yellowstone Fortress. started uh, like some so, like some government agency or whatever bought like Yellowstone so they could put uh, something called Firebreak here. here. And they also have, like fired everyone who worked here. Oh yeah, I gotta get that wood. Here, up and over. Oh, there's a thingy here. What does the thingy say? Yeah, return to fire break. First, 2064. It's been three years since I was last here, and 12 since I was running the place. Just a skeleton crew left, confused about why I'm here. So, so 2064 would have been the year of uh, of zero day. They can't hear what's going on in the, um, when I get the audio files. I think this is actually the first time I've noticed that the game acknowledges that. Alright, was there something more to that? Data points. Eh, fuck it. We'll figure it out. Messages. Left by the old ones. And you can hear them. Oh, that's a lot of wood. I gotta get all that wood. What did they say? I'm not sure yet, Aram. Uh, all right, so I can't open this, which means the game wants me to go somewhere else. Uh, uppies. Oh, there's a yellow thing here. That means I can climb it. Are they actually joining me? Oh wow. I didn't know NPCs could climb. Alright, here's another thingy. Alright, maybe this will explain a little more. Return, blah 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 blah. Still no six blah blah blah. Wait, why is this a text log? This totally should have been an audio log. It's got like lines that people are saying. Maybe they couldn't voice uh they couldn't pay any voice actors to for to voice Joshua and Gina. How in the most advanced geothermal facility in history? Oh, I thought he built the robots that uh, were supposed to put out fires, I guess? That's why they're called Firebreak? The whole point was that they automated uh, all the people at Yellowstone. They, they, they automated Yellowstone, so they didn't need like tour guides or rangers or people you know, protecting it from forest fires anymore. And, uh... That's what this Kenny guy was supposed to do. From what I gather. Oh, well. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, no new information there other than Kenny's not supposed to be there. Whoa, did I just see something? Oh. Yep, okay, so... <laughs> there's definitely enemies afoot. Uh, hey, here's a thing I can find. I guess we're supposed to shimmy across it. Is that the control tower? Oh, no, that's just a... That's a watcher. Uh... Huh. Alright, so I can definitely do a stealth kill here. That's smart. Yeah, why not? Yeah, because I'm definitely not alone. Alright, so... Whoa! Alright. Looks like I've been, uh... I got someone's attention. I 
don't really want a fight to break out. Uh, is there any way, anywhere else I can go, though? Machines. Oh, we have the drop scrapper. And there's that bellow back that I detected. Oh, right, of course. Gee, I hope no one comes up here and investigates. Fuck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can't silence strike, or I can silence strike the bellow back, but it won't be a one hit. That'd be real bad. Oh. Yeah, it's buffering for me, too. Thank you. Wow, that fellow back has no idea. Okay, alright, I've been detected. Playtime. Playtime's over. Oh. Still not dead? Holy shit. Oh, I could have hit him then? Oh my god. Well, if I had known I could hide here, this would have been so much easier. Oh well. Silent strike. Whoa! Knocked me out of my silent strike. Alright. Time to, uh, time to switch to combat gear and actually fight this. Yeah, I don't know why the stream is, uh, is buffering. Let's give it a few minutes. In the meantime, let's switch over to, uh, this thing. Gives me some nice ice protection. Alright. Yes, distract them for me. Rapid fire arrows. Oh, killed it. Sweet. We must climb higher. My path oh. will come clear. I killed it. Or I didn't kill it, rather. They got the they got the kill on that other watcher. Alright, uh Well, let's see what kind of uh I'll find a use for you. What kind of crap I can loot from all this. Ooh, potion. If the chieftain's pace is measured, ours is measured. Most of them sometimes blah blah blah, about six months ago, blah blah blah, remember high schedule, new data, that's close. Path line in the battery depot. Hey, that's where I am. And blah, blah blah blah. I think this is Kenny's message, but I'm not sure. <laughs> blah 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 blah. Ah. Oh, they didn't, uh, they didn't, uh, they didn't end up hooking up. There were a bunch of data logs previously about how, how much the two liked each other. Because they worked together. You know, because those are definitely the best kinds of relationships. Man, if I had known I could have just jumped down here and hidden... I would have been able to clean that in a much more... I would have been able to clear this room in a much more, uh... In a less messy manner, I'll just say. Well, let's pick up all this shit. 
Uh, Alright, nothing, nothing useful so far. I really just need more blaze and more wood. And these guys don't drop wood because they're machine. Surprise! What's in this box? Wood! Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of weird that there's like there's just wood hidden away in these supply crates. But uh, you know, whatever. Doesn't uh, doesn't completely break the immersion. I know why they do it. It's because uh, you need to you need to supply players with um, with you know the stuff they need to to make their weapons. All right. Uh, why didn't I come in here earlier? Oh, this just takes me back here. Okay, this door wasn't open before. I think I would have noticed. Yeah, this door... In fact, I think I purposefully examined this door and noticed how unopened it was. Alright, well, let's go to the overlook. I should probably examine what's making all this noise, but, uh... Yeah, nothing's showing up here. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to come up here. Yes. Oh, the game says it's this way. Who am I to who who am I to go against the game? All right. Uh, I'm probably supposed to go up here. Let's not do that yet. Let's see what's up here. Also, it would have been a much easier fight if I had known to climb up here. I could just snipe them from uh, from up here. I don't think they'd really be able to retaliate. The Bellowback has... Like, they all have range attacks, but... I don't think they'll have a very good time reaching me. And apparently I could have climbed up from over here as well. Alright, so if I had actually taken the time to... Observe the battlefield... I would have had a much easier fight. Well, been there, done that. Lesson learned. If I ever come back here, I'll know for next time. Uh, cannot get up there. Okay, that's fine. Clearly don't have to. Not much farther now. Yeah, it's just a lot of uh, walkways, but... Not a whole lot along the way. Alright, so this is supposed to lead into a cauldron. Look at that, it's barely half a door. Whoa! Whoa! Last we were here, we fought our way through there. The machines overcame us. Yeah, and you apparently we left a whole bunch of them behind. Dropping supplies and taking losses. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. Even so, we could go that way instead. Ah, yeah. The machines up the there could also way. cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. Uh, why don't we just stay here and snipe right. them? I get the options. Now follow my lead. Yeah, my lead is going to be stay here and, and snipe from a distance. Alright, so up there, I see one of those. Oh, it's a stalker! Oh, that's going to be fun. Love fighting those. Alright, so it looks like I can go... Okay, so they can reach me from here. I'm not exactly... Not entirely safe, but I do have a zip line to quickly run around and run circles around them if I needed to. What are these things? Scorchers? Chew scorchers? I think I saw a third one back there. No, that's a. I think that's a behemoth. Shit. All right, so direct path is probably not the best. 
Uh, I could set up some traps. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Alright, let's do that. Gotta set up some traps. Here's my trip caster. There it is. Alright, so like, every elemental attack does nothing against these, from what I remember. You pretty much have to use things that directly deal damage, so that's like blast wires and uh, explodey things. Alright, so this will do some damage to whoever decides to come this way. Uh, ooh, I don't have a whole lot of, uh, a lot of these traps. Alright, well, set a couple of those up. Uh, where's the, where's the explodey one? Just a better one? Time. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, we'll put one here. I don't think these actually deal that much damage, but whatever. I'll put one next to it, one of these next to it. Just a big old balloon. Alright, we'll put one more back here. I really wish they had a better interface for laying these traps, but... Game's not perfect. Alright, and because I'm a little paranoid, I guess I'll set up a little bit more. It's not like I can't just pick these up if they don't detonate. Alright, that, that should discourage any approaches. And uh, now we play the long, boring, snipey game. I'm certain we can stay out of sight up there. Yeah, well, I'm certain you shut up. Yeah. They weren't looking for me. Eat some of that. What is that thing back there? Yep, it's a behemoth. Uh, I could probably try using hair blasts on that. So, it looks like he hates it when I shoot him there. Let's see if I can land some sticky on him. Alright. I should do some pretty good damage. Oh, shit! Alright, alright. They learned a new trick. Oh, shit. So apparently they can just come up here. Get on the zipline! Woo! Alright, and now I just let my NPCs uh, do all the fighting. Actually, I should probably... I should probably help. <laughs> probably a good idea. Alright, so... I've been pulled into combat. Maybe it's time to use... Some... Combat stuff. Okay. I broke a thing. Now we get to use it. Ah! <laughs> uh, as it turns out, I can't just stand in front of him. Can't see that. Oh wow! Come on, NPCs, distract him for me. God damn it! Alright, maybe the direct path is not the right way. <laughs> uh, well, we could try the path with the stalkers. I really hate fighting stalkers, though. Although it does look like if I go up there, I can just take pot shots at all these guys below. And I do want to kill Scorchers because apparently there's an achievement for it? Yeah, yeah, cutscene. We're seeing this. Pipes. Towers. Steam. Frost. Who was on this floor? Well, there's a single stalker 
Wait, no, oh, the, okay, Scrapper. I'm a little less... A little less, uh, afraid of Scrappers. Stalkers are pretty problematic, though. Alright, new plan. Take out the Stalker, and then go up there. Why is he disappearing? I guess he won't cloak if, uh, if he doesn't detect a threat. Alright, now he sees me. Because I shot at him a ton. Oh, oh shit. Wow, uh, good aim. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's put this thing back on. Reach on my health. Aha! Aha! You can't hit me. Ah, oh, that was a bad shot. It's okay, it looks like I can... I'm fairly this safe from his little... Fairly safe from his dark gun up here. Oh, looks like there are actually lots of enemies up there. Look at all those question marks, shit! I thought the upper road was supposed to be safer. Why are there so many question marks? Yeah, they're scrappers. Uh, at least one stalker. Get out of my way, goddamn. I'm trying to scan. God damn it. Camera angles in this game. Alright, so this appears to be a scrapper. I don't think I can hit it from here, though. How do I get this guy, though? Nah, he's too far. Alright, so no way to cheese this that I can see. I think I have to either go up there and be all sneaky sneaky or deal with this. Mm. They're all demonic, which means I can't override them. This is rough. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take the high road this time. Ooh, what do we got over here? Oh, whatever, I might need more of this. Just gotta just gotta be sneaky. Actually, what's stopping me from sniping from up here? I feel like I should be pretty safe up on this little stairwell here. Playing this game the way that it was never intended to be. Just cheesing the hell out of everything. We'll see what that's like when I'm up top. Ooh, can I? Yeah! Yeah! Alright, this is a good this is a good sniping spot. Alright, what's, what's stopping me from just, uh... Yeah, I don't think these guys have good long-distance attacks, so... Like, they can spray fire, but most of that is short-range and on the ground. Also, why isn't that thing glowing anymore? I'm pretty sure I didn't break it. Machine saw me. Yeah, I know. It's okay, though. They can't do anything about it. Or, I think we're about to find out if they can do anything about it. All right, they're getting closer. Got stalker up top in the All right. As long as I don't lose my balance, I'll, I'll be okay. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, I guess he can do a thing. Wow, that was. Unexpected. <laughs> um, it's okay though. If I can break that grenade launcher, then uh, I don't have to worry about it. Nope, can't summon him out. Surprise. Oh, 
Yeah, I guess if I just break the grenade launcher or the mine thrower or whatever the fuck that thing is called, it be okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, looks like my NPCs have uh, infinite HP though, so it's fine. It's fun watching them fly like that. Alright. I think the thing up top is the, uh, is the grenade launcher. Not looking through my, not looking through my logbook to find out, but I think that's what's going on here. And I might have already broken it on this guy. So I think they have nothing else they can do to me. Which is good. Alright, we did it. This is how we, this is how we cheese this game. <laughs> it's so fast. Yeah, I think after breaking the, uh, breaking the, the mine thrower, these guys really aren't a threat to me as long as I'm all the way up here. It's really hard to hit them, though. <laughs> They're a little fast. Even with, uh, even with bullet time. Sure. Got him. Got him. Ooh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna switch to these. Get some, get some of these hits in while I can. That way I'm not wasting my precision arrows, because, you know, low on wood and all that. Gotta save them trees. Phew. Oh, there's the behemoth. Haven't, uh, haven't quite figured out if the behemoth can hit me. I'm hoping he can't. Wow, running out of components for me to remove. Alright, so there's the behemoth. Alright, he's big enough that I can hit him with my... Hit him with these. Uh, he's taking cover! Yeah, he do some shit damage. What is the behemoth weak to? Uh, not a whole lot, apparently. I'm helping! Keep wasting my arrows, but that's okay, we got lots of these. Oh, shit. Alright, so I need to destroy... I need to destroy those things up that he has up front. Because that's the thing that lets him uh, toss rocks at me. I think the tear blast arrows are going to do it. Not entirely sure. I guess I gotta get back up there. So there's like the six, uh, six or so giant canisters up on his head. I don't think I actually broke anything. I didn't, I didn't get a note saying that I removed a component. the projectile attacks and then hide up here. That's... All right, I got one of them off. Uh, five more to go. Let's do this, guys. Yeah! Oh, 
I broke a whole bunch of them. I don't think I broke them all though. Give it a quick scan. Yeah, he's still got he's still got the three on the other side. I think as long as he has at least one, he can still do that seismic stompy thing. So oh, that's not sure. Oh, made him fall down. So he obviously didn't like it that much. Felt that. Uh, okay. So all six of those dealies are off. That should mean he can't do that again. He can't do that, uh, the scary attack. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong component. Alright, you know what? We're, we're gonna consult the notebook. Let's actually look at the notebook here. Behemoth. So the crate holder is that thing. Blah, blah, blah. We'll trigger an explosion. Blah, blah. Force loader. Destroying this disables the lifting attacks. I'm pretty sure I did that. Trigger an explosion. Okay, so maybe there is no way to stop him from doing the... Uh, doing the rock throwy thing. It's weird because I could have sworn that there was a way to do that. Well, whatever. I know how to disable it. Just, just kill him. I'll break that thing on his back. God, just freeze him already. You guys are so close. Alright, he throws it. And he's dead. Alright. Well, now I don't have to worry about anything. I can just camp up here and snipe like a... Uh, snipe like a cheap ass, like I've been doing. Pew! Pew! Yep, yeah, they know they can't hit me, so now they're just like not even bothering. <laughs> and is he dead? Oh no, he just fell down. He's still very much alive. Just taking a nap. And now he's dead. Alright. So all that's left is just the one on the ground. All right, I feel like this one I can fight the honest way. Let's let's do that. Let's fight this one the honest way. Watch me get killed. Ow. Uh, I think these are good. Can't tell. Uh, what do I have equipped? Alright, so I think these things are weak against, uh, ice. Back to your business. Yeah. Come fight me. on fire. Oops. That's okay. I don't mind being down here. I saw it! Oh, oh. oh, he's actually frozen. Time to, uh... Break some shit. Oh wow, he actually wasn't well, that uh, far from death. I kind of feel like I wasted some ice there, but whatever. I have a lot of chill water? I think that's what that is. Alright. Uh, well, that wasn't so bad. Just gotta find where you can, uh, 
snipe. And I guess that's how you that's how you play this game. I am kind of curious what's up that other path, but Let their efforts harden our hearts. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to uh, risk dying. Oh, it's just like wood and, and all this other stuff just lying around. Take all this. Uh, don't need more of that. Bodies of our kin remain to shame us for our last attempt. Their spirits are one like now are dark. There's a bunch of uh take whatever supplies are left to keep us. Still don't really know what's going on here. Stuff. I like stuff. Keep think outfit me. Ooh, what's this? All right, let's let's see what I just picked up. So this is probably my least useful. Okay, so this resists fire and ranged attacks. That might be good. Uh, resist melee, resist fire, ranged, ranged. Okay, let's let's put that on. All right, I'm so powerful now. Last time I came over here, I died. Yeah, pick up all these things that I worked really hard to break off. I can ask for the forge. There's vibrations under it. Are they tapping into something that they're wrapped? There's gotta be some there's gotta be some big reveal at the end here about Wow, why is there a watcher here? Uh about what 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 this facility, what this fire break is all about. That door just gonna- OH out. SHIT! Now, bring you down. Of course, uh, of course it's never that easy. Alright, well... As long as he keeps them nice and distracted for me. Ah, oh, that was a bad shot. Alright, if you move... Oh god! It's like a big old teddy bear. Alright. Alright, good, good. Oh. Why is he after me? What did I do? Alright, he's good, he's losing attention on me. I'm gonna see if I can use the sticky button. Oh, what the fuck? Loves me. He like gets up on his hind legs. He's like a big, big friendly bear. Oh, on him there. What? Like, can his attacks actually ignore, uh, Ignore the uh, the the obstacles. Oh hey, there's a thing for me to scan here. I'm gonna look at that later. Wow, I think he lost, actually lost sight of me. There he is. Sweet. Oh, he doesn't stay frozen for long, though. I guess that's not surprising. Ah! Alright, oh, I guess that's one way to do it. I was waiting for him to get frozen before picking up the Ravager gun to take advantage of his frozenness. But, uh, well, it moves a little too fast. <laughs> Looks like I should have just picked up the Ravager gun from the beginning. Alright, we got some more sticky, get some like more of these. Like Alright, 
I'm gonna take this with me. First, I'm gonna see what this is all about, though. Another audio log. Okay, maybe this will. Suspending the geothermal pipeline is the easy blah, part. Blah, blah. Making sure it can come back online without degradation is harder. It would help if Anita had told me how long it needs to be out. Years. Decades. What will that do to the count? This little cover of the machine's tongue again. Huh. So they want to shut off the geothermal Hello? whatever the fuck. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take this with us for reasons. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a blast. I bet there's gonna be like a ladder or something that's gonna prevent me from taking this with me any further. Our door was open the last time. The demon has closed it to us. Wait, we'll what? Another way. Oh, okay. I was gonna say if. If after all that I still have to go through the other way, then that would have just been total bullshit. Uh, can I climb up there? Nope. Okay, good. This game is letting me drag this cannon with me, which is good. What's in here? More wood? Yes. All right, so there's a door over here. Looks like it leads back down. Let's find out. What? I can't open doors while holding a cannon. Where is this might even the odds. So I can't jump and I can't uh, I can't roll. I can't do like anything while I'm holding a a heavy a heavy weapon. All right, swag. I think this is actually leading me backwards, but that's okay. I want to fight these. Th I want to fight these things using the cannon anyway. Makes me feel. Makes me feel like a big man. All right, just to double check, did I just go backwards? I think I might have. Fire break. That's the name of the door, apparently. Oh wow, there's a campfire here. I can fast travel to it. What the hell? All right, we'll look at that later. Oh, hey, another scanny thing. Technically, I can't suspend the cooling system, but I can reduce the power draw. Oh, so that'll be completely masked the long by the leg here. But masked from what? The firebreak has always been confidential for security reasons, but this would be excessive, even for the dear departed Mr. Blevins. What could possibly have gotten me to so worked up? Demonic Stalker, Long Leg. Go or you go anyway. Oh, I can't. Uh... Oh wait, maybe I can drag this up here with me. Not all threads can be seen at first. Beware of stalkers. Speaking of which... Oh yeah, I'll just clip through the door. Is that not allowed? And here comes a watcher. I feel like I'm just going backwards here though, so maybe... Oh, what the shit! Oh, I guess the uh, I guess that AOE can hit through walls. Well, lesson learned. We tripped a mine. Brace yourself. No, oh, you brace yourself. What actually are all these bunker doors? All right, it's pretty clear that this is where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> down there, but me being the kind of person that I am, I'll kill these things. Uh, as soon as I find them. How the hell did I get hit? 
I don't even know what killed me. That is the beauty of Ultra Hard, though, is you know you never see it coming. Man, why is this buffering, like, so badly? <laughs> oh, well, at least I don't have to fight the, uh, fight that thing again. Or maybe I do. How far did this throw me back? Well, it doesn't look like I picked up any of the items here, so... It at least threw me this far back. Well, whatever. I think we're gonna try this again, but with less, uh... Less subtlety. Oh, the, the game uh, remembers that I opened the door and looted the crate. That's interesting. That means this data point will also have been uh, received as well. Yeah, the game is not treating this as a new data point. So it counted that I got it. Well, I guess that means uh, we'll just go right to killing. Oh boy, here I go kill him again. Not all threats can be seen at first. Beware of stalkers. Start by breaking this thing stalker, uh, the stalker's uh, cloaking device. I'm hoping the stream will start buff will stop buffering at some point. I don't actually know what's causing it. it. Might be PSN. I hear PSN's been having a lot of problems, and I've been having a lot of problems with it lately. But who knows? All right, Stalker, where you at? Oh, there he is. Okay, so that thing up top is not the cooking unit. Wow, he is undisturbed. I guess I should have been paying more attention and figuring out which uh, which part I'm. So Whoa. Okay. Gotta got drink some potions after that. gonna hide behind these crates like I would in real life. Oh! Chest component's already gone. Normally that chest component is one of the first things I go for, but apparently the apparently the NPCs already broke it for me. Good. Save me some work. Pew. That's the kill. Alright, where is the, uh, the stalker? Oh, that's just a watcher. Oh, there we go. Nope, that's a stalker. Did the stalker already die? Oh, Stalker's still alive. I can tell because it just shot me. I thought you were dead, so I stopped. So I switched to the weaker ammo. Oh, okay. It's not after me. Ah, oh, goddammit. Ah! Why can't I stay on this crate? Stalker. Stalker retreated. I mean, seeing as these NPCs are unkillable, I don't see why I don't just, uh, you know, let them do all the work. Oh, 
I've been doing that a lot on Ultra Hard, actually. Feels like a- oh, nice. Stole that kill. I'm more afraid of the, uh, Stalker now, because, uh... It's still alive. Oh, I see it. I still haven't broken the dark gun. Ow! Let me, let me break your dark gun. Ah. Oh, thought I was gonna move forward just a little bit more. I think the thing up, up top is the dark gun. And not, uh... The coping component, like I... Like I thought earlier. I mean, it's in the notebook, but I'm not gonna read it. Oof. Good dodge. Good dodge. Hopped off that crate just in time. And we have a frozen enemy. And that's a frozen kill. Alright, it looks like they've backed off because I'm hiding like a bitch. Yeah, Stalker doesn't seem to be coping anymore. Why are you after me? And it's a kill. Thought I'd be able to break the component before that happened, but eh. Alright, there's only one enemy left, and it's not one I'm afraid of. I think it's just a scrapper. Be wary of mines. Stalkers in the air. Well, might as well loot all this crap. Scrapper! Oh man, don't pick a fight. <laughs> Why you gotta pick a fight? Oh, is this another stalker? Yes, yes it is. Alright, well then, I guess we're gonna fight this, uh, the way it was meant to be fought. Which is to say, right up in the face. Ah! Alright, lesson learned. Just, fuck it. Run up there with bombs and, and... Don't even, don't even be, don't, don't try to be subtle. Just lob, uh, just lob bombs in their faces. Oh, what's this? Why, why is there an icon for something I can pick up, but I can't actually reach it? Yeah. No need for sneaking now that everything is dead. Definitely not scrap. Uh. All right, gotta loot all this stuff. I mean, I worked really hard for it. Took a lot of work hiding behind things. Huh, is this where I would have ended up if I had climbed up here? it is. There's actually, okay, so this, if I had gone this route, it would have, uh, it was definitely emphasizing the stealth element a lot more. It looks like there's a lot of places to take cover and some grass to hide in. I forget what warmth feels like out here. No more of that. Do more Hold of this I every cold there is. This frost. So if I had gone up here, I guess I'd have just been sneaking around 
hiding in these little bushes. Probably would have kept the stealth armor on. This does kind of explain why it was so hard to snipe these guys from up here, though. They actually had a lot of open space to run around in. Alright, it doesn't look does, doesn't seem like there's anything else up here. Just like random crap. I like being thorough in my uh, in my investigation. Seeing as I feel like I'm probably not gonna be coming back here anytime soon. Certainly once I'm, not once I'm done with this area. On to the tower then, before we freeze to our spears. Alright. Running. Running so fast. Okay, this is definitely where I'm supposed to go. Alright, I just heard a door open. What is that all about? Alright, I'm a little lost. What's going on here? So this is the door I came in through. I'm hearing something that sound kind of sounds like a like a one of those really big doors, like cargo door opening. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to come in here. How did I miss this? All right, let's see what this is all about first. Hollow Redux. I watched the Hollow of the Toast six straight times, taking it blah blah, and he was well, blah 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 blah. And off to Cyan every time I play. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alright. Wait, what? We save the world from fire and death, or at least suffocation by ash. So the volcano erupted. Let's see if I can restore power. Aratak, Araya, you might see shapes drawn from light. Also, there Don't is clearly a more than light to alarm clearly uh, some enemies roaming around in there. But you know, don't don't pay them no mind. There. Below. And there's another one of those giant doors. I guess it's a cauldron door. Alright, well, I'm supposed to activate the dealie. But let's let's loot the room first. Alright. See what sort of exposition we get. Kenny Chow? So he's been watching this, all depressed. You put a cork in the Yellowstone caldera. I'd say you deserve a margarita. Alright. So, uh, volcano nearly erupted, and this guy stopped it. I guess that's, uh, that's why they call it fire break. Cyan. I'll second that, Director Chow. Wait, what? All right, Cyan. What's our latest number? The current count is one thousand six hundred and fifty-four. <laughs> <laughs> well, then drink okay, up, so this whole time I thought this Here's was going to be another one of Gaia's subroutines, like Hades and Hephaestus and all the other Greek names. It was the spirit, the old ones. But I could only uh, grasp some of what they said. But right apparently, away. it's not. It's a different AI. This place was built to stop something terrible, and it worked. It stopped a volcano from erupting. 
I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. We can get through. Yeah, and then fight all those things over there. This seems wonderful. Just great. Well, maybe there's a place I can safely fight to get to that door. More than the where I could reveal. Aloy will see us through. Onward yeah. then. Our challenge awaits. There we go. The geothermal plant can be suspended. The cooling system masked. Massive challenges solved. So why am I so nervous about the next part? All we need to do is install a new mysterious software and have a conversation. What is this mysterious it's software? Uh, it's an AI. God damn it. AIs have never gone haywire and tried to kill all the humans before, right? Alright, how much blaze do I have? 42 out of 4, or 42 to make... Mm. I'm trying to weigh the merits of uh, just rushing in instead of being subtle. Fuck it, yeah, let's do that. I don't think there's going to be anywhere to hide. Alright, well, let's take care of the small fry in a sneaky way first. This might be a... this might work out. I can take care of these guys without uh, alerting the big guy. That might help. Ah! One down. I know there was another one not far off. Yep. We got attention. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It stopped the volcano. Uh, it stopped the volcanic eruption and is probably turning this stuff into power. <laughs> Wow, these guys are real slow about this, uh, about this investigation. They're just slowly walking on over here. Hello, anime bot. How you doing? It's weird that this watcher over here has no idea what the fuck is going on. But these two scrappers who came from, like, across the entire freaking map they're investigating. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, sneak up. I think I can stealth kill these. Yeah. Alright. Then while I'm in the neighborhood, we'll take care of this guy. Alright, scrappers can be stealth killed. I'm pretty sure anything bigger than a scrapper though. Not gonna happen. So what is that guy? Scorcher? Yep. Great. Uh, but it looks like all that's left is a stalker and then the big scorcher. Alright. Easy. Easy peasy. Let's examine let's examine this other door. This is a big old door that I can't get through. Oh yeah, I think that's the door that, the big door that uh, I couldn't get through on the other side. I've seen this door before. Or maybe this is the door. You know what? I don't even know anymore. Alright, so we got a Scorcher and a Scrapper. I'm gonna tag him. If I get a Stealth Kill on the Stalker, then that'll, uh, that'll make the rest of this a little less complicated. I want to say I'll make it easy because scorchers, scorchers can get kind of rough. I want to do this in a way that I don't get the scorchers' attention immediately. All right, whatever. I think my sneaking suit will get me there. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, with the corpse, run like hell.
All right. Uh, I am kind of curious what how much uh, damage I can do with a silent strike on him. I'm pretty sure I won't one-shot it, but should do some amount of damage, right? All right, let's get the stickies ready. Because once he's down on the ground, I want to put some stickies on him and do some damage. Get low. What is his path? It looks like he's just going back and forth. Here I go! Can't stop me! Yeah, he's just going back and forth. Silent Striker! He does not care. Alright, gotta put on the combat armor now. Let's try the Shield Weaver. I've been more impressed with that than the... than the, uh... than any of the Chieftain armor, or any of the armors that you can modify. <laughs> oh, shit! We have the combo. Oh, shit. Wow, that leads right through the shield. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Lines everywhere. They broke some parts for me, but I really want to break that mine thrower on his back. Ah! Dodge my, my carefully aimed. Ah. Alright, some parts have fallen off. Stickies on him. Yeah, that, should do, that should do some pretty good damage. Or, you know, kill him. That's cool too. Look at that, level up. Oh my god, he didn't drop anything useful. Well, dropped a little bit of blaze. That's good, I guess. Got all that just to get into this cauldron. I guess I should uh, loot what's around here. My hard-earned, uh, hard-earned loot. I also use quite a bit of medicine, so it's good though. There's medicine lying around, or these uh, these herb things. These really weird-looking uh, mushroom dealies. <laughs> Apparently, they're healthy. I wonder what I'm going to fight inside this cauldron. Also, the fact that it's a cauldron... I thought that... Was whoa, whoa. Uh... Kill the demonic thunderjaw. Uh... Oh, shit. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's tear those disc launchers off. Fight this the way you would fight a normal Thunderjaw. I don't think that works. I feel like as long as I can take cover from those, uh, from that cannon. Okay. Interestingly, that rock is not destructible. Oh wait, never mind. Nope, he just walked on it <laughs> and broke it. 
Alright, uh, maybe I can use this rocket cover? Jesus! Yeah, I'm gonna bet that he can't destroy this rock because the, uh, the rope is attached to it, so it's kind of important from a... Oh wow, come on! That's a direct hit on the, on the, uh, on the disc launcher. It's still not breaking. It's gotta be cheap. That's not what I want. Yeah. Trying to avoid the tail. Oh, god damn it. Well, that was a surprise. <laughs> I thought I was going to just unlock the door and it would have been great, but no. Here, fight this Thunderjaw. <laughs> Alright, so push me all the way back here. That's fine. Uh, wow. Um, how to fight Thunderjaw. Uh, Ropecaster's been pretty good in the past, but I don't know how that's gonna work out against a, uh, against a demonic version. Guess we'll find out. I'm gonna try, oh, hmm, should I try the Terror Blaster? So I, I noticed I was hitting the, uh, I was hitting the disc launchers with the Terror Blast arrows, and on a regular Thunderjaw, uh, that should be enough to tear it off, and then you can use the disc launcher against him. But that didn't seem to be working here. Well, I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the rope caster. If the rope caster doesn't seem to be working out, then oh, that's the door comes to. Make ready. Okay, that rope caster actually is doing a decent amount on him. Come on, one more, one more. And he's actually down, holy shit, alright. Now we just uh, fucking pull a sticky. This play uses a lot of, uh, blaze. That's okay. Back to rope capture. Aha! Tail swipe and miss. Although now I'm, uh... Shrug off the rope. Rope cast! Yes! Oh, he's down! That's how we're gonna do this, is uh, get some stickies on him. Yeah, it's not working. He broke the, he broke the, um, Oh, that's bad. Real bad. Too close. Too close. God damn it! <laughs> Panic roll. Jeez. Really after me. Man, I wish I had his disc launcher. He he sure seems to be enjoying it. All right, see if I can tie him down again. Yeah, the rope caster seems to be doing the most work on this guy, so that'll be the plan. All right, he's down again. Let me switch over to stickies. Put some stickies on him. That'll be how I win. 
And no ammo. That's okay. Alright, I am pretty low on... Pretty low on, uh, Blade now. Oh god, he still... He still has to dis- He still has this. Shit! Alright, looks like he gets kinda confused by that ledge. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Ah! A shield! Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! I just took a, took a bath in the lava. It's fine. <laughs> probably, uh... Probably, uh... Probably not a good idea to take a dip in the lava. Okay, well, it looks like the rope caster is the way to go, so we're gonna do that. Man, I felt like I did a lot of damage to that thing, and it still didn't die. Uh, rope caster, put that here. I mean, I could try freezing it to increase the damage, but it doesn't look like that's doing a whole lot. Well, it's probably better than nothing. Alright, we'll put the ice rail over here and uh, yeah I guess we'll just try to keep freezing him or we rope cast and then when he's uh, when he's uh, when he's tied down I can take advantage of that and try to freeze him because I think uh, I don't think he's immune to freeze yeah new plan it's gonna be our plan here we go. So it definitely looks like he one-shots me no matter... As if my shield is gone, he definitely one-shots me, so there isn't a whole lot I can do on that end. I was actually doing okay until I fell into that lava. Whoop. It is funny that the rope caster seems to stagger him. A little bit more. God, why is it taking so many ropes this time? Alright, he's dead. Gotcha. Alright, now he's frozen. Now we're just gonna use last song. I mean, I could rapid fire these against him. Maybe that'll actually do a little more work. Oh wow! Shit, that was a lot of damage. Ah! I don't even know what hit me there. Alright, so maybe that's the process. Get him down with the, uh, oh wow, it feels like most of the cannon. Laser dodging! Jeez. Relentless with that, with those lasers. I gotta get in a good position and uh, with the rope caster again. Ah no! Shit! Oh, he's actually tied down. Good. And he's frozen. Good. Uh, it looks like these hard point arrows are doing a little bit more work. Ah, son of a whore. 
What? Don't let him hit you. a lot of uh, panic rolling, but we got there. Fuck. Ah, I'm starting to think I really do need to take down those disc launchers. Because they're, uh, they're stopping me from taking advantage of how frozen he is. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's let's swap over to the tear blast and try to tear the uh, tear those things off. I'm real annoyed by these. Uh... Oh shit! All right, three tear blast arrows. Come on! I didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm really starting to think the tail blast arrow isn't getting there. Just a, just a hunch. Oh, alright, alright. So it takes like nine tear blast arrows to... to, uh, to knock, knock a disc launcher off. He still has another one, so that's what I'm going to go for. Alright, down I go. Actually, where the fuck is that disc launcher that I, that I tore off? Alright, you're not making it easy for me to hit your... Uh Yep, nope, that wasn't a good hit. Oh, there's the disc launcher. Oh, use it. It'll be good. Oh, fuck. Wait, do those lasers... The lasers actually go through the freaking... Oh, that's bullshit. Alright, let's, uh... See how you like it! He doesn't like it, that's why he's dodging. Ah, oh, he's down! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Alright, that was one of his, uh, disc launches. I tried to get behind cover. Look, look where that got me. Ah, give me an angle. Yeah. Well, I'm damaging it because I'm using the precision arrows instead of uh, a... Yeah. Well, he doesn't seem to know how to negotiate this rock. Nice. I broke his radar! Oh, he's actually frozen? I take advantage of this. Alright, he's down, holy shit. I sure can. I'm not actually sure. Alright, what did I get for all that? Uh, Alright, so another stealth coil, that's nice some blaze to replace the blaze that I just used. Wow, that was that was that was a fight. Holy hell that was a fight. Show us what lies beyond. Gotta gotta make all these weapons. 
Alright, so it was the rope caster, MVP. Probably not going to be so useful from now on, though. Let's swap over to... I don't know, ice rail? <laughs> sure. Get railed. Now, fight two Thunderjaws! Well, that's just great. So what happens when you don't clean the place. Years have passed since I stood here. Oh yeah? Since then, the daemon has... Taken over. Oh no. It's like an infection. Attacking all this machinery. Everything Completed the second twisted. probably some other shit. <laughs> well, that's a trophy, yay. The path I took to get to the spirits. Lost to us. We'll find a new path, Araya. I promise. Yeah. All right, let's go. So, uh, yes, finish this. It's kind of interesting how the, how like the AIs in this game, how it shows infection by like these these uh these things that kind of look organic. Um, because like when Hades does it, it's red, and when you take over uh when you take over things, there's like these blue tendrils. That's what we call them, tendrils. Alright, switch back over to the sneaky suit in case I need to get sneaky. Sneaking around, stealth killing all those things really helped. I should do that more often. Alright, down we go. Alright, I wonder what happens if I jump in the lava. Will it break my immersion? So like these, the structure I'm standing on is clearly built by, by the future AI. Because it looks similar to the architecture in the rest of the cauldrons. But here I'm standing on something that's very clearly like old world. So I am kind of curious what's going on here. Because cauldrons are cauldrons are supposed to be built by like the post uh, post zero day um, after Project Zero Dawn uh, revived a bunch of AIs to you know fix the world. Oh well, yeah, that's that's a, that's a pretty big infection there, buddy. I don't know, I do kind of feel like the Ropecaster did a lot of work. Oh man, all these, all these free drugs. Alright, where the hell am I supposed to go? Any, uh, interesting, obvious ledges that I'm supposed to grab onto? I can't go through this door or else it would be highlighted and I would get a prompt. Alright, let's pull up in the old map. Okay, so there's something to my right. Oh! I guess I can go through here. It's kind of creepy. some platforming. My favorite thing my favorite thing to do in a 3D game is is platforming. Damage geothermal what? I'm with you, Stabilization valve. Will you stay poses extreme environmental hazard. Oh I guess I'm not supposed to go over there. Stay here until I find a way for all of us. Cable overgrowth. 
Any material construction can be destroyed with projected force. More like projectile force. We'll wait for you to show Yeah. Us I did it. I win. All right, what is this thing? These are all the same here. Damage, geothermal, whatever the fuck. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's a watcher here. Wow. Uh, does he have a path? Yes, he goes back and forth. Well, that's easy. Oh, I'm glad I didn't accidentally get his attention. Now we're going to get his attention by killing him. Easy. Oh, we got some more medicine here. All right, medicine pouch is full. Wow, he wasn't even guarding anything. He was just here. Yeah, there's there's nothing over here. Just lava and death. All right. Let's go this away. way Alright, pretty sure I'm not supposed to try to get through that. Pretty sure the game wants me to go up here. Ooh, how do I get over there? Oh. Busty. Oh. Oh. Okay. Did not expect that. Alright, I don't think the stealth suit's doing anything. Let's get the passive healing going. Save me, save me from using drugs. Okay, so I'm supposed to grab onto one of these. I want to make sure it's not like taking me to a death trap because I feel like that's a thing that could happen. Well, I don't have a good way to look ahead, so here we go! Please don't kill me! Oh, she's in the air! Alright, okay, seems safe so far. Oh, 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 no. Alright. Well. Hey, I'm on the other side of the fire, that's good. Working as intended. Network uplink. I'm just scanning to make sure there aren't any enemies. Uh, so there's a spinny thing that I can climb onto. Why would I want to do that, though? Uh, I think I want to go over here first. Oh. I can't. Okay. Guess that only leaves one direction. Uh, I think I want you to spin this away. Does that make sense? I guess it doesn't even really matter. Alright, what's up here? Uh, nothing! A whole lot of nothing up here. Yeah, not even a way to, like, jump across. I have to ride the wheel. I guess it doesn't matter what direction it's spinning in. I should get me up there. Yes, it should. Climb! Yeah! Yeah, some parkour! Parkour that shit! Alright, none of these are gonna try to shock me, right? Uh... Under the road? Yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, let's, let's find out what this does. Unleashes two thunder jaws? Here they come. Oh, as in a friend. Not, uh, not, oh no, more enemies. Oh shit, something did get released. A demonic shell walker. I mean, shell walkers aren't all that tough. Alright, well, I'm just gonna fight it from up here. Because I'm smart. Pull that thing out. Yeah! Send me some fat loot in there. 
not even paying attention to me. Good. That's the way I like it. Nice. He's frozen. He's gonna die now. Yeah, we did it. Great teamwork. All I did was sit there and do nothing. Just shot from a safe distance. Aloy will see us through somehow. All right. Uh, well, I guess I can go back down there. Loot, loot the corpse. Wow, it has like nothing. What's in the crate? Also, a whole lot of nothing. So that didn't actually do anything, did it? Wait, was this here before? Uh. Uh, I'm, I am not certain that this is the way to go. God, this game needs a flashlight. Can't see if- I can't even see the bottom. Oh, camera angle. Alright. So there's a floor, but nothing else. Alright, hold the map. So I should be able to go up here somehow. Uh, I'm still not exactly sure what uh, what opening that thing did. What overriding that thing did. Maybe I'll, get a, maybe I'll get a better view from up here. I like how the things that you can grab onto are uh, highlighted. Very helpful. They really thought of everything. Whoever designed this place. Okay, so I need to get across? Is that what's going on? I mean, I guess I can ride these things over now. Don't remember why I couldn't before, but... Well... We'll find out. So there is a reason to be up here. To grab onto one of these things. See, I thought I might have been knocked off by one of these arm things, but I think it was just, uh... Okay, let's get them across. It was just, uh, the game was cutting me off after a certain point. Yeah. Looking around, making sure to not miss any detail. Oh hey, someone left a dealie here. Creatures of Terror. They have no idea what we're doing up here. Mention a fire break by name is worrisome. Oh, blah blah blah. Plague ridden animals on the loose. What? It's not blah, blah, blah. No one know why, but now. Blah, 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 for bioterror weapons. What? There's no way this... This was not mentioned in any of the other lore of the game. This government used blah, blah, blah for secret experiments. Crack down on genetic testing. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is like purposefully, uh, this is pur purposefully spread misinformation about what Firebreak actually is. And it's picked up by a tabloid. Alright, nice. Good. Some good, uh, some good environmental storytelling here. Always good. Always appreciated. God, it's dark in this little corner. Game's so dark. Alright, so this should extend some tentacles for them to get across. Come on yeah. over, it's safe. Come, come play on these tentacles. It's fun. Everybody loves tentacles. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, that, that was great. Great work. Alright, before I go through there, I think I can... I think there's some items over here for me to get. I'm getting real close to the fire here. Uh, alright, nope. Those are just... Those are just herbs for my medicine pouch. It's already full, I don't need it. We're good. All right, we should be reaching the uh, the end of this DLC here, right? This place looks more like the mountain used to be before the demon ruined it. Activate the console. Okay, here we go. What kind of machine will I have to fight now? Restraints abated to any human responder. My systems have been compromised by a malware demon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. Oh, it interesting. Must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build positive Wait, so Hephaestus is behind this. I have attached additional data to their and spirit speaks to us. Hephaestus is also bad? Hephaestus. It, it was part of Sir Dawn. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess all of the, all of the, um, all of the subroutines are bad. Hades is bad, <laughs> Festus is bad, it's all bad. Oh, look at all these areas that I have yet to go through. Ooh boy, there's, this is a pretty long dungeon, holy shit. See, I thought, so I knew Hephaestus was the thing that was, uh, behind the cauldrons. Right. But, uh... I think uh, it was. Uh, I guess it was never explicitly stated why the uh, why the cauldrons are building hostile machines. Induced coma. Oh no, Kenny Chow. That's a dead end. Seriously, flashlights, come on. Alright, so all future games in the Horizon Zero Dawn universe will likely have to do with with uh, dealing with all of the other Gaia subroutines. Except for Apollo, because Apollo got wiped. And Hades is dealt with by the end of this game. Ooh, I don't think I want to jump down there just yet. What is this? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, is this a new type of enemy? Is, is the game really throwing new shit at me? That's a pretty hot, actually. Oh boy. What? So, gotta get across. And there are a couple of enemies. Here's a watcher. There's a scrapper. Shell walker. That's, that's not a big deal. Shell walkers aren't so tough. Ah, uh, the shell walkers aren't holding anything. There's no point in fighting them. Oh, I got someone's attention while I was peeking. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's uh, anything stopping them from coming up here, so... Don't exactly have any safe places. All right, well, let's uh, let's snipe them the way the game was intended to be played. Oh, what's this? Scorcher? All right, Scorcher's a problem because I know he can jump around. Oh shit, two of them? Oh, this is just wonderful. Okay, uh, I do kind of need to think about this then. Stealth? Stealth, Stealth an option? Fuck you! Oh, shit. Well, that got everyone's attention. 
Oh wait. Can I just come up here and be safe? Oh no, the door closed behind me. Okay. Oh shit. Alright, whatever. Not used to fighting these things up close, but here we go. Gotta use bomb. Ow. Yes, bomb. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Oh, it's gonna be great. Dodging into things. It does look like I get iframes when I'm when I'm in the middle of a dodge animation, so that's kinda nice. Fuck it. <laughs> Run away! Wait, where did all the other enemies go? are the other enemies. Not that I want to fight them, but I do want to know where they are so I don't get any unpleasant surprises. Alright, high ground is good. And I've just lost it. Climb up here. Ooh, stop. Whoa! The hell is where the hell did he come from? Evasion. Oh, god damn it. What are you shooting at? <laughs> oh, he's trying to hit that washer. Oh, he's not having a good time at it. Alright, that's a okay. good Well, looks like I can just run circles around these guys and, uh, seems okay. Great, because this is more or less how I play Bloodborne. Oh, shit. I think I have all these blood vials, right? God, he's just throwing stuff everywhere. Stop that. Oh shit. Now, if I can get that... If I can get that mine thrower, that'd be pretty sweet. Oh, I think I broke it. Nice. Oh, and he's dead. Alright, if I see a mine thrower, I Take it. Walk right into that one. Break all your toys. Okay. Uh. Well, that worked. What the hell happened to all the other enemies, though?
So I only like killed a couple of watchers, but I don't see where the, I don't know where the shell walkers went. Jump. Once again, arrows are completely useless in that fight. Clearly, it's uh, all about the bombs. Oh, here's a dealie. What does this do? Alright, sure. Let's be right above the volcano. I like it, I feel safe. Uh, nothing over here. And... Alright, so I guess I'm supposed to go up. And then go on this dealie. Yeah, that makes sense. What's over here? Wait, could I have just walked up here? Oh, no. Alright. Looks like there's a reason to be here. And up we go. Just like this heat shimmer. I guess it's supposed to be super hot here right now. Alright, so here's another one of these dealies. Huh. Okay, yep, there it is. It's like, if there's any spot for a bridge, this looks like it would be it. So I guess the reason that the, the game gates you by apparently only uh, our attack can break this thing over here. Can be destroyed with concerted effort. Yeah. Let's put some effort in there. And so the game basically forces you to drag your allies with you. Or else... Uh, yeah, that was some concerted effort right there. We really concerted that effort. Alright, nothing up here. I'm a little disappointed. Thought that would be a perfect spot to put a put a supply crate. Alright, how much more? How much more is there? It's like this room, a room that's kinda off to the side. So I'm guessing ultimately I'm supposed to end up here. All right, all right. Let's see what this is about. Uh, that's some. That's a deep hole. Uh, let's walk around the deep, scary hole. I was about to try to jump, jump over that. That would have killed me. Here. Oh, I guess we're going down. All right, this just takes us deeper into into uh, into the volcano. Alright, I'm supposed to jump over this, right? It's safe to do so, right? Okay. And another console. Oh, we gotta lose this first. Alright. Let's get some more expository dialogue. To any human responder, the reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most blow? of the backup stabilization. Recapture oh. imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's... 
Been looking for a way to defeat the demon. And I may have found one. Alright. So the demon is Hephaestus. The swarm. Operation Enduring Victory is all over the news. Alright, so this is more familiar territory here. <laughs> In that scenario, pretty much everyone dies. Everyone except Cyan. Cyan. Oh, come on. Couldn't make it over that little, uh... That, this little rail here. Help your allies cross the recycling area. Yeah, I'm glad this place has a recycling area. Dumped here to be melted down. We need to get Cycling is so gap. very important. Yeah. Alright, I hear I, like I hear machinery. Over. Where is where is this machinery? I can hear machines stomping around. Where you at? Oh, I a little question. I that means it is directly under me. And it's just a watcher. I have a feeling I need to get down there, though. Huh. This is a tall neck's head. Interesting. I'm standing on a tall neck. Wait, I actually can repel down. I probably shouldn't, because there's clearly an enemy down there. Yeah, you do that. Alright, it's right here. Be able to do a. Oh shit! Whoops! I saw the prop for a uh, strike from strike from above. Yeah, hit him with my spear. That's how we win. Just whack him. Alright, so there's got to be a way up. Oh! Alright. Yes, I get it. I'm supposed to help you cross. over there. Might as well grab it. It's really hard to judge distance in this game. Make a path. Ooh, there's something you can grab onto here. That's interesting. Clearly supposed to go up. Uh. Looks like I'm supposed to go very up. I'm starting to lose track of where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's an enemy. Shoot your face! Yeah! Is that the only one? Oh, there's one over here, too. Alright. Is there another one? Like it. All right. Find a way. Close. I probably didn't need to use two arrows there, but whatevs. Okay, so there is a... There's another one that's alive, because there's definitely a question mark over there. Oh, there we go. Seems like it's a little far off, though. 
Ooh, another one of these things. Pew. Uh, I'm gonna guess I'm not supposed to try to jump across here. Just, uh, just a guess. So where am I supposed to go? Oh, down and around. Yeah, this doesn't look dangerous at all. Don't step on the lava! Is that a thing I can grab onto? Yeah, apparently. Huh. That looks real dangerous. I'm not gonna try it yet. We're just gonna we're just gonna go over here first. Where it's safe. This one doesn't really look like oh I guess I have a good shot here, but yeah. Nice swing. Great work. Alright. So, camera keeps panning around. Okay, so that means I'm supposed to go there. Easy. Now, where's that watcher? I'm gonna kill him. Oh shit! I meant to jump there. Well, I guess I have to find my way back up there. Lift! This is like a shortcut. That's useful. Well, before I before I go over there, I should probably take care of the watcher. But it doesn't seem like I have a very good angle to hit him. And again, it is just a watcher. Probably isn't that tough. Alright, so those things pop out, which might not be something I want. I just want to get across. Whoa! is right above me. Ooh, can I do a strike from below here? If the thing... Wait, no, but he doesn't come up here. Why does the path arrow show up here? Eh, whatever. It's a little glitchy, but it's fine, I'm sure. Alright, so for my next trick, I guess I'm supposed to jump across. Holy shit. Still pretty paranoid about that washer. Doesn't seem like there's a good angle to hit it, though. Alright. Once again, I have its attention. Doesn't seem to matter, though. Yeah, it can't hit me from there. I can't hit him. It's fine. Everything's fine. Pick up this. 
Yeah, it looks like I'm finally meant to jump across. Oh, there he is. Alright, he sees me, but I don't think he can reach me. So I'm supposed to just fight him. From here. Easiest way. Noises. Oh, bad shot. Not hit the weak point. Oh my god, stop turning your head. There you go. God, game would be so much easier if everything would just stand still and let me shoot them like they deserve. So I have this feeling that I'm supposed to go to where that watcher was. So how do I get there? I guess I jump from here. Oh, that looks, that looks super sketch. Super sketch. All right, we're doing it. Uh, All right, we did it. It was good. Everything's fine. Man, there's been so much climbing going on. Great. There's the watcher right. grab a ride. All that just to get on one of these things. Alright, well, let's loot what there is to loot before we go on a wild ride. Alright, here we go. Where is this taking me? Doesn't look like there's much more. Let's, let's double check here. So I literally went into this little outcropping. All so that I could double back. Alright, am I supposed to drop off here? Probably not. Doesn't look like there's anything there anyway. Although if I did drop off there, it looks like I could just get back on. I could drop off on this arm. That's probably not safe. Alright, this looks like a good spot. Eh, let's just keep going. Looks like I can walk back over there anyway. Basically, Prince of Persia in a different setting with dinosaur robots. Hey, there's my friend. How do I how do I reach him? How do I reach these kids? Oh, is there no way to jump back up there? Uh, well, I guess I'm going down. Oh, um, there's that door that our attack will break with his concerted effort. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything else, so... Alright, let's go break that door. Concerted effort, go! I mean, all he did was shoot his ice rail at it. I have an ice rail. I can do that too. I can be cool too. Oh, there's a thing for me to do. Last goodbye. I'm gonna 
I guess Kenny Childs died. It's, there's something in the notebook. Let's read up. A million things I could have done. Contemplated my own death. Contacted everyone I've ever known. Love. Gotten drunk. Whatever resistance is being mounted against the war machine, she's part of it. It doesn't... Uh, Anita doesn't come up in any of the other Zero Dawn stuff, so I'm guessing she never made it into the Zero... She was not part of the... Uh, uh, the Project Horizon, Project Zero Dawn thing. <laughs> she wanted data samples from Cyan's confidential log, the one that pertains to emotional responses. Oh, because they needed it for Gaia, probably. Sounds like she's helping to develop an AI. And how could that possibly help stop the swarm? So Kenny Chow knows nothing about Project Zero Dawn. <laughs> That's too bad. Poor Kenny Chow. Guessing she was having a problem trying to save the world, oh man. Untold destruction awaits. Yep, that, that's what happened. Remember every possible, every possible, I'm trying to predict how she'll react when I tell her. Okay, so this cyan is like a very emotional AI. The one thing we've been told never to do. Don't give these things emotions. Ooh, another log. And this one's text. Only text. I hope it's all fine with you and your mum. Blah, blah, blah. Taking a post in New Zealand. This has nothing to do with Zero Dawn. Interesting. Dodd Blevins. So, in earlier texts, you find out that the uh, the guy who's apparently in charge of Yellowstone is named Dodd Blevins, and that is that is one of the that is such a punchable name. Apparently, he has a very punchable face too. The retreat of winter snows has brought closure to a missing person case. Dodd Blevins. Purple Mountain as a result of Novaro from an unusually warm winter. Taking a survey of the cause of the An accident involving an antique vehicle designed for winter travel. So a snowmobile. He died in a snowmobile accident. What a what an undignified death. Alright, is this is this the end? I think we're getting pretty close here. Also that voice is kinda creepy. Why do all the AIs have creepy voices? Alright, down we go. Real safe, get closer to the lava. Activate the source node, where that is. The altar. Alright, well, before I head over there, are there any more dealies for me to pick up? Man, this looks so crazy. This place is nuts! Oh, there's another dealie to scan. Ooh, I almost have all the data logs. I'm missing two. 
Acting Chief Digital Blah 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 Blah. I hereby state to have updated the or blah 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 blah. blah, blah ensure against tampering, meddling, disarranging, or outlandish mis mischief of any kind. Well, that didn't stop Hephaestus from taking over. Remaining data nodes must be pathed to establish a flow between. Ah, uh, is this one of those stupid puzzles? Oh my God, I think it is. Alright, well, before we activate this puzzle, let's grab all this shit. Oh, wow. I am full up on health potions. Sweet. And here I go. Here I was afraid that I was going to run out. Oh, wow, what's that? Uh, so there's going to be some kind of fight there. That That looks like a... That looks like a boss arena, is what it looks like. Obviously can't go there yet. Right, let's see if we can zoom in just a smidge. Alright, so that's the override thing. And it's in a boss arena. Clearly headed there next. Alright, let's do this puzzle. I'm gonna bet it's a puzzle. Because uh, I've done a couple of these in the DLC so far. Yep. All right. Gotta move the things around. Put the light in the light hole. I've done this before. It's not that hard. Oh, what the fuck? So it looks like I can bring this left or right. So we'll just go this way first, I guess. Nope, 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 this way. Possible security threat detected. Alright. Is it gonna suddenly launch a bunch of robots to attack me? That'd be pretty bad. Alright, I think this is the direction we want. Analyzing scrutiny matrix. Scrutiny matrix. Security threat confirmed. Who, me? Um. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to make the path such that this light will reach, uh. reach the center. This doesn't seem to be it, though. All right, let's let's work backwards a little. So that's pointing there. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Screw this up somewhere. All right. If I direct it this way, what happens? Oh, okay, this might be the way to do it. I just rotate it this way? Yeah! I did it! That was actually one of the... one of the more complicated ones. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Spirit of the Blue Light, it's Aurea, your servant. Your friend. Hello, friend. Please I'm tell a me robot. how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers. Thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core camp. I will try to read the signal strength. Go fight the boss battle. Man, these AIs of the future are so much better than the AIs of the past. Just overwriting all their shit. That's all we're gonna get from here. 
Destroy this fortress? Is that even possible? And what will happen to the spirit if we do? I don't know. But yeah. I think that's the core. Blow it all up. The answers are down there. The boss battle is down there. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's I hope it's like three thunder jaws. That's that's gonna be great. I would ask you to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But of course she's gonna refuse. But I already know the answer. Good having them on my side though. They're very good distractions. And sometimes they 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 do a little bit of damage, so that's the They lead us into battle. I wonder I wonder if this is how how much easier this is if I wasn't playing on ultra hard. Keep moving towards the core. Yes, while I examine this and see if there's anything else for me to do. Because I'm pretty sure I won't be allowed back here once, uh, once, once shit goes down. Uh-oh. Oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Uh, how do I get there? Oh, I guess I just jump. Right? Can I can I jump up there? What's going on? And randomly there's a box here. Uh oh. Oh. Good. There is a path. I just didn't see it. But the NPCs did. Oh shit. Okay. Cyan said something about restraints. Okay, so there is Either a control tower. Is there an enemy though? Because if there's a control tower, usually that means there are enemies there. Alright, right, let's override this tower. No enemy, good. Alright, override. actually kind of surprising. I bet this actually starts the boss battle though. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have, uh, you know, laid some traps first. Alright. Here we go. I don't know what that is. It's like a big old polar bear. Fire claw. All right, what do we got? Uh, it's got a big old fire sack. You gotta shoot him in the sack. It's like a temporary burning stay and disables the fire attack of the claws. So it's basically like the the polar bear, but it's a fire bear. Yeah, I have this strange feeling that I'm gonna be fighting more than one. It won't be easy. Kill the fire claw. Okay. Um, so he doesn't like ice. So that's good. I think we want to keep the ice dealy on. Should I bother with anything else? Sharpshoot's not going to get there. I mean, I could just bomb him a bunch. That's that's worked out in the past. Uh. The other plan is rope cast rope caster into uh, rope caster into stickies. Might also be a good plan. All right, so I have a couple of options. Let's let's do let's do the freezy thing. Let's stop us. Take it down. The problem with the freezy thing is I do need to get close and oh hello, you got Fran. Oh. Oh, 
Whack. Completely unfazed. Alright, we gotta take care of the small fry first, because they, they're really gonna put a damper on this land. On all my plans. Alright, he's down. Time to... Oh, goddamn! Interrupted my critical hit. So of course the Fireclaw pays attention uh, the the Fireclaw pays attention to me. And the uh, the little guys are attacking my teammates. Oh, can I just hide in here? Oh no, it's lava now. <laughs> no cheating. I don't know, I kinda like this armor. Whoa! Whoa! Oh shit! Loving shit at me. All right, we'll switch to we'll sh switch to shield armor. I like the passive HP recovery on the shaman armor, but all right, all his friends are dead. Oh shit! Oh shit! Shot like a flamethrower. Yep. I was standing right, right next to him and he was... I think he was shooting fire right out of his belly. <laughs> Alright, I can be a total cheap ass and just set up a whole bunch of traps around the arena first and then activate the cutscene. So let's see if the game will uh, let me get to that point. Cyan said something about restraints. Is that what the tower is for? Yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Uh, alright, we'll switch to Shield Weaver, even though I know it's gonna get destroyed by the, uh, by the, um, by that control tower. Alright, first we're gonna set up a whole bunch of blast wires. Put them everywhere. Oh no, my shield. No, uh, no pattern, no rhyme or reason to this. We're just gonna put these everywhere. Go until I'm out of ammo. This is how we should start every fight. Alright, that's my last glass wire. I can make more, but eh. Alright, then we're gonna put up some prox bombs. Just put them, uh, put them everywhere. Yeah, just, just put them wherever I feel like. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna run them into these at every opportunity. Uh, let's put one more over here. Awesome. Uh, what else do I have? What other what other trick what what other tricks do I have? I've got I've got blast bomb, blast trap. Put one here. And uh, where's yeah? We'll put this here as well. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be such a big explosion. It's kinda cheap, but that's okay. That's why we play this game. Put another one here. Uh, got a few more glass traps. Alright, I'm literally throwing everything I got into this. So it's gonna be great. I can lead them up here. I can go in circles around this. Alright. Uh, and we're still gonna try the old freezy thing. I feel like that's gonna get some good results. Alright. Oh, I guess I should 
drink a fire resistance potion too. That would also be that would also be good. Alright, alright, thank you. Stop stop breaking my shield. Alright. I hope this I hope all the all the traps don't despawn. That would uh that would make this kinda rough. But we're being a cheap ass. Unit us about. This won't be oh, that's easy. hardly dealt any damage. We can't let it stop us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frozen. All right. So now we uh, get some blast off something this kid. Right. Hardly dealing any damage. Oh shit! Ow! 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 I wonder if that critical hit actually ha happened. Oh. Oh. Alright, well, looks like he's alone. That's what we wanted. up on that fire potion. Cool. Wow, the combo just keeps, just keeps swiping. already, jeez. Oh. I have a feeling, uh, freeze tactic isn't working out as well as I'd like. Yep, he, he literally fires fire out of his out of his chest. Oh wow. Wow. Alright, this uh this uh Ice thrower really isn't doing what I need it to do. Let's try... Oh, I don't know. I wonder if the rope caster will work on him. Yeah, let's just... Let's keep trying shit. Don't mind me, just taking the high ground. Wow, there's actually plenty of high ground. Whoa! Alright, it's a lot of effort to, uh... It takes a lot of effort to, uh actually try to tie him down. Oh, he's actually tied him down now.
got all these stickies on you. Alright. That did work. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Oh my god! It's like the face! Got so many attacks! Oh. Gotta watch out for that bear hug. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. Just gonna override this and hope he leaves me alone. Alright, that worked. Ah, oh, he's actually shocked. No critical hit. We're just gonna put bombs on him. Alright, now we're critical hit. Yeah, that critical hit barely did anything. I feel like the stickies aren't doing a whole lot either. Whoa! Alright, I'm almost out of medicine. Conveniently, there are, there are a little, uh... Whoa! Looks like there are new enemies now. Yeah. All right, that's not a recoil. Silly me. And I want to break those things on his arms because I know that's a weak point. It's not giving me a good angle. Can't do that chance. Oh, it's not moving. Yep, bad, bad shot. Like yeah, he, he just does not go for my allies at all. Uh, the pulse gives them energy. Repairs them. And break my shield. Freaking thing already. God damn. Wow, those. The things up there are really hard to break. Son of a whore.
timing all the dodges. Man, nothing seems to be doing a whole lot of damage to him. Maybe I am supposed to use the stupid freezy thing. Ropecaster definitely wasn't getting there, though. He doesn't stay still long enough. Alright. Time to get railed. Well, body slam. Frozen. Oh my god. Wow, maybe freezing really was the way to go. You spoke of the tower. What must be done with it? I gotta jam my thing in it. Don't worry, I've done this a lot now. Alright, time to loot. Wow, I didn't even get him to all my traps. Whatever you're going to do to that tower, do it now. No, I'm looting. Shut up. Let me have this. So, corruption and- ooh, 22% on my spear. Man, even after being able to upgrade your spear, uh, which is something you can only do in the DLC, the spear still does really shitty damage. Doesn't, uh, doesn't seem worth it. Well, this sure is a good way to replenish all my supplies. Run around, pick everything up. I think I have almost everything. Yep, there's that health potion. More drugs. I'm actually almost full up. Okay, so this blast wire did not, uh, he, he did not trigger this blast wire. My medicine pouch is actually almost full. And I don't actually see any other traps, so it looks like, uh... It looks like all of my traps actually did get set off. Except for that one blast wire that I picked up. So, they did do something. They did a lot of work. Real happy about that. Alright, let's over out here. No! Is this another boss fight? <laughs> now fight more Thunder Jaws. Aurea! Don't! Oh uh, no! Scion, please help me! Destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Okay. Aurea, I'm free. You must escape. <gasps> mm. 
Well, that's one way to escape. My sister. Yeah. Blow this place up. Our Don't talk. even give us a chance to escape. Our talk. Our talk. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Do I actually have to escape, or is this just a cutscene? Let's go! Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that, that's it? One of those? It's the only way! Uh, you don't have to grab onto the same one, but okay, yeah, you're right, dude. Just, just, just do your thing. I'm glad the extra weight isn't pulling any of this, you know, isn't throwing this off or anything. Also, how are these things flying? How does anything fly? Oh no! Give me a top bar attack! Now! It's like those arms are trying to catch it and it looks kind of sad. Hope this isn't a QTE. I need explosive ammo! Above! Quick! How does. How do how does she not have a bomb? Like just handy. Great for guy. <laughs> that so happens. Man, that is some great snow. Then a, and then they get buried in an avalanche and they die. It's actually kind of uh, impressive that they didn't trigger an avalanche. Man, and the snow like clings to their clothing. It's gone. So real. Water cyan. Said something she about said a she was auxiliary herself center. Herself yeah. To the auxiliary center. Maybe I that's in the next Reyes DLC. Retreat at the end of the shaman's path. I guess that's where we're going next. Then I will meet you there. For the last verse of my sister's song. All right, I guess uh, I guess that's where we're wrapping up. So you basically just did all that to shut off a cauldron in an area that 
Like, if you didn't have the DLC, it wouldn't even exist on the world map. Alright, now do I have to go there myself, or am I just going to get warped there? Yep, looks like I have to go there myself. Where did this put me? All the way over here, what the hell? That's interesting. And there's actually like no easy way to get into, uh, go to the fire break location. Alright, that's cool. I guess we're gonna go to, uh, Arya's retreat. Why isn't it on the map? Alright, it's on it's on the real world map, but it's not on Oh wait, there it is. Uh, I think this is how we get there. This is, should be the closest campfire. Alright, here we go. Let's wrap this up. Figure out why this AI is uh why it exists. Man, this has actually been a pretty lengthy uh, DLC. I'm actually pretty impressed. Like, it's a good DLC when you feel like it's actually adding something instead of unlocking something. And... All this, uh, there's, there's enough new crap in here that it's, it was definitely worth it. Good DLC. Great work. All right, let's let's finally save the game instead of relying on auto saves. This was a hell of a climb to get here on my uh, on my first trip up here. Alright. Cutscene immediately. All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you. But there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the daemon's attacks. So Cyan wouldn't know I about Hephaestus. That's why she calls it the demon. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We okay. can resume any time you like our attack, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Yes, like Zero Dawn. <laughs> that thing you don't know about. So not counting Gaia, which I'm not even sure Gaia is activated by the end of uh, Horizon, uh, Horizon's uh, regular ending. I guess this would be the only good AI. <laughs> Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the, is good. At the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. Cyan, I... 
I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. Do robots have feelings? You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Uh, alright, there's a lot of good information here. So are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes, I am an algorithmic monitoring entity. Capable of rational decision making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer Wait, problems. Wait, so what was her work? But I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me. Repaired me. She but what what the me. hell was the point of of Wait, other questions? Yellowstone, AIs, Ted Farrow. Oh man, there's everything gets answered project. here. It was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. If you couldn't figure it out the from the context. Was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron. It took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. So I guess the whole I time she the was project, uh, reducing energy draw and spreading the load topping across it from backup erupting? systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another. 3,337 years. So and even if it erupts... Yes. If only like, my former colleagues could appreciate the progress how, I have made. How bad could it be? It's it's just an eruption. Like, yeah, I guess it'd be, it'd be really bad for, for people in this area, but know what happened it's to not like world-ending. No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. Yes, for zero dawn. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. All right, so that's probably something to view later. Mm -hmm meant a lot to Araya. Once I understood Araya's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true she felt disconnected from her tribe and her family. Our visits seemed to help her, yet I did not comprehend that the depth of her- although I do fear non-existence. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. Arata. How is Arata? He is in great emotional distress. I will do what I can to help. By share, I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process. Was the daemon Hephaestus? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. Ah. It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. Ah. So while losing the cauldron was a setback, it's still out there. And probably not very Oh happy boy. Else. Undoubtedly. We're ready for a sequel. How did you first come into contact? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors eager to make contact. I accepted. This decision turned out I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Yeah, that's, said you were desperate. that's right. That you. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. That's like exactly how it the Pharaoh machines work. Via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, it forced me to follow its instructions. I'm sorry, but your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality. 
All right. Zero Dawn. So this thing's I not going to know that much about Hestus Zero Dawn. Came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow Wait, later. would I have this dialogue if I came to this area before doing... It was huh, that's interesting. I gotta research Gaia when when I'm allowed to go into the cut. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension. Most likely to preserve me from... I'm glad she did. All right, all right. But it's all coming all. together. Something 19 years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her Yeah, that's functions. actually never been explained yet. Life. Probably in a sequel. She destroyed herself to try to contain them. But it didn't. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and sheds light on Hephaestus's core So would you, the player, be able to go to this area if you didn't, uh... if you didn't actually progress the main story to the point where you learned this stuff? Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Banuk and other human tribes often dis- Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. Really? It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, fire claws are discouraging, that's for sure. But what are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. Uh -huh. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants, I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. All right. Well, she's a good guy. Ah, is this finally gonna explain those metal I flowers? Found the strangest machines. There, there's code embedded inside them. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often: Twilight and Evening Bell, and after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, not verses that I enjoy. Something must have made these machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Knew is it. it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Maybe one whose purview is flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be a nice change of pace. But what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. All right. Tell us about Cyan, do you crazy know the Teddy Farrow. Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? That's him. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. And benefactor. everything else. But he made machines. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into... But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives. Yeah, At one yeah. point, yeah, he was fated right. in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. So no new information there. And Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work. Which in turn... But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of... 
All right, so nothing there. What was the old world like? I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what you still had more exposure than me. That is true. I was created at a turning point, a concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable. The recovery was yeah, successful, yeah, yeah. beginning an era of so there was like an, limitless an environmental collapse and machine advancement before a real collapse. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. What kind of upheaval? There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, but these stemmed from one cause. Catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the Earth. So Games about climate change. for people on the whole Earth. Yes. Billions were displaced, and millions perish, as much as 20% of the global population. Until the clawback. Yeah. So things got better. Yes. These crises instigated many advances in automation, green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues. We had succeeded. At least that was the, it seems my assessment was. Huh. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone. Yes. It was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No, the opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here. Even unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total... From my readings mm -hmm. and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world site. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. Oh my god. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. <laughs> That's interesting. So that's like a band by like two uh, two disgruntled workers at the dam, and uh, they're they're not very good. There's a ruin east of here. But they swear a lot, apparently. Machines. Was that part of your project? Yes, a drone hangar requisitioned by Dodger Blevins, the security Dodge chief Levin. for the Firebreak project. He was a strong advocate for military-grade response to security threats. Though Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the... Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of... Yeah, he was kind of a dick. Were there many All right, here we go. Last one. Like you in the old world? They could just... Yes. In many forms, from simple personal assistance to industrial monitoring... And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limit... In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, as a result, my intellectual and emotional capability seems strange to create life. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. And that's it. I should get going. Aloy. Not a whole lot of there new is information one more there. Arta, I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality due to my uncertainty. I omitted a great deal from my... You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, I mean, I know none of these decisions ever have any, uh... Any bearing on how things play out. I trust your judgment, Cyan. Ultimately. You were cautious with Araya. You had to be. So, keep doing what you think is best. As long as you ditch the superstition eventually. As the Banuk believe I am a supernatural entity. Just answer what they do ask the best you can. The truth will come out. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. 
I'll come back when I can. Uh, I somehow should. doubt there's gonna be new stuff. Talk. Oh, Seems there we go. Cyan, I spoke with Anita with, with Dr. Sandoval. She wanted me to ask you to do something. That's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I am detecting significant anxiety in your speech patterns. Could you please give me more information? Uh, I'm a little bit in the dark, Cyan. Both of us are, I guess. I only have some idea of what's going on, and we need you to hibernate, to lie low until it's all blown over. It might be a very long time. Will you be here when I reboot, Dr. Chow? Will Dr. Sandoval? No, Cyan. I don't think so. There might not be anyone, at least not at first. Dr. Chow, I'm afraid. I don't want to be alone. I know, Cyan. I'm afraid too. But listen, we made you the way you are to do something very important. It yeah, I can see that. Had to be intelligent, so intelligent but I'm guessing since I'm already at the end of the game on the main game, um, the fear, then I've exhausted the all of the... Uh, I've exhausted all the dialogue options then. Remember that. Unless there's more DLC later. I know you can do this. Go to sleep. Wake up. And protect whoever's left. Will you try? I understand, Dr. Chow. And I'll carry out your instructions to the best of my abilities. Thank you, Cyan. If Anita were here, she'd thank you too. So I guess Anita was already at the uh, Zero Dawn facility. So he's the last thing she saw. Great. Hello, Aloy. There is sight. No, there actually isn't. JK. Until next time. Alright, I think that's everything. Until other than next time. Other than uh, talk to this man here. Talk to the sad man. After that though, this should be the end of the DLC, I would hope. There's no other no other conflict. Oh, he's just standing there all lonely. Quick save! And this will wrap things up, right? Right? Hey, Chieftain. Just. Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought. that if I'd never come along, Araya might still. If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone. And this either way, I would not. Ooh. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was. For so long she told me. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratak. And where I'm going... The Warak can't follow. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A wiser one for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, oh, yeah, that. fire claws. Now Tuk has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuk. Is there more to do? 
I mean, I know there are achievements for killing uh, fire claws and stuff. After all, fire brick, cyan, Hephaestus, all very interesting. Well, we've got silence so online now. And unleash them on the world. His minds on their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life. Aberrant life. Transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences. Out of the forge. Kill the fire claws. Oh boy. So. I do have a, like an extra little side quest. Come here. Kill some fire claws. You know, it took a lot of effort just to take down one, so... Uh, apparently I gotta kill five? That's just great. That's just great. I think I'm gonna do that not on stream, and not tonight, because holy shit. I mean, it might have been that that was like a boss battle, so it had more HP or whatever. Our understanding. Our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You'd do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brain silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. Wow. Silence, what a dick. Yeah, there's no way there's not going to be a sequel or two to this game. Because there is just still so much they need to explain. And, uh, yeah, I think that concludes it for the, for the, uh, for the major stuff to do in, uh, in the DLC. I mean, there's still this thing here to go kill some fire claws. I'll, I'll deal with that eventually. But that's about everything in this area. Like, holy crap, this, this whole section right here is the DLC and it's actually pretty dense. Actually way more dense than I uh than I expected. Oh, one thing I didn't know is oh, this must be it. I was going to say that I didn't see any uh any areas to hunt um the frost claws. The ones the the, the polar bears instead of the ice bears. Okay, so there are five, uh, five different markers for where the fire claws are. And I have to go to each location and kill one. Including the one at, at the place where that rock, uh, the rock breaker was. Interesting. Alright, alright. Well, I don't think there's much else to do here other than, like, some random side shit for trophies. But that is it for the DLC. There's nothing else. Wow. That took me like freaking close to four hours to to fully wrap up that ending segment. And I also died a bunch of times, but oh hey look a frost boss site. Well, that was fun. Hope you guys had fun. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Is that something I'm supposed to say every time? Who knows? Alright, catch y'all later.